What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with another DIY Tesla Power update video. Um, it's been quite a while since I've done my last update update video and uh, I just want to explain why the project is going has been going quite slow lately and uh, maybe just give you a bit of a rundown on what I've been doing and uh, you know what I've been like currently working on. So some of the struggles that I face doing this project that I'd just like to share with you guys Hopefully soon I'll be able to get this power up and running, but there are uh, a couple of limitations holding me back from uh, continuing this project. So uh, if you have enjoyed this project so far, just please give this video a like and subscribe just to show me that you guys are interested in what I've been doing so far. And um, just, uh, just to let me know that this is something that you do want to continue seeing. So uh, without any further ado, let's just uh, get straight into the video. So basically the aim in this video is going to be basically giving you a rundown on the cost of this project so far. Now, um, this isn't like 100% accurate pricing, but this is basically what I've paid so far. There are a couple of things I've missed out, but um, I've gone through my eBay uh, and looked at all the parts I've ordered so far. And um, I promise you that this project is not cheap. Now, if you guys are... Um, aspiring to do a project like this, I do caution you that this is not a cheap thing to do. It's obviously cheaper than buying a Tesla Powerwall itself, but uh, it also isn't like really cheap. Uh, so not everyone can do this kind of project. Um, I'm happy that I've got a, a part-time job and other external ways of making money like selling computers and repairing them, but um, not everyone is as fortunate as me and uh, it does come a time where you do put a lot of money into projects and you eventually kind of do run out of money. So uh, this is that's a little bit of a sneak peek to this video. Um, but anyways, I'm going to, I've got a little chart over here showing uh, basically what I've spent on this project so far. So I'm going to be showing you guys that and just kind of indicating um, what kind of dedication I've put into this project and what I've actually devoted to this project, like how much effort and and like kind of faith in this project so I've kind of obviously spent a lot of money on it I do believe in it that it's going to work eventually in the future so uh, yeah let's just uh, get into this list so so as you can see you just got the overall cost and basically everything just documented down so I'm not going to reveal the total I'll do that kind of after I've read out the list so uh, let's just uh, have a look at it the first thing I have is the 600 watt pure sine wave inverter which is that right there uh, that has costed me $250 um, off eBay. So it was $800 and uh, I got it for $250. It's only a year old and uh, it's a really good unit. Uh, the next thing is the MPPT 30 amp solar charge controller, which is that. That costed me $140. Uh, the eight 190 watt solar panels, which you probably saw on the, you probably saw a couple of videos ago. Uh, that was $500. I already revealed that. Uh, the MDF sheets that I use uh, for the backing and also the side rails and also my electric bike. I've used some MDF uh, that costed me a total of 50 bucks, which isn't too bad. Uh, 15 90 degree brackets that I've used along here, along here and on the back. That costs uh, 30 bucks. Uh, the 15 meters of 6 millimeter cable that I used to run from here to my solar panels. I was like... $75, it was like $5 a meter or something like that, ridiculous. Uh, then also, uh, the LCD was free. I uh, got 100 4x5 cell holders, uh, 70 bucks. Three switch slash wall sockets, $20. Uh, the two, four DIN switch things here, so that one and that one, they were like 8 bucks each. Um, then the next thing is this. Um, 60 amp breaker it's actually 63 amp that's up there that was quite expensive off eBay because of $20 and then also just miscellaneous screws $8 light switch $6.50 uh, the light bulb hot was $5 and then just 5 meters of 2.5 millimeter cable which is 20 that I used to uh, run all this stuff and that switch and other things uh, behind the back of this so um, that all comes to a grand total of $1,220.50. So 
So it's obviously not cheap and uh, that is obviously um, only been made possible with uh, the income of YouTube which isn't really that much to be honest and also so basically just hard work with uh, selling all the computers and uh, working at uh, my part-time job so obviously I put a lot of faith uh, a lot of uh, resources have gone into this project and uh, basically the point in this video is basically to show you guys uh, you know how much has actually gone into this project and if you are thinking of doing it uh, just think twice about it at the start I didn't believe it would be kind of as expensive as it was on and, and it still isn't finished yet so I've still got quite a bit more to go uh, shouldn't be too bad but so basically what I'm trying to say in this video is for the continuation of this project I most likely will need a bit of uh, assistance in funds uh, I've seen a lot of people with these patreon pages uh, like coming up and stuff and uh, I never really thought I'd ever need to ask people for like financial assistance or anything but um, I have other priorities as well other than my power wall. I've obviously got my electric bike and then uh, since I'm getting older and stuff I've got other things to save up for like cars and like driving tests and all that kind of stuff so um, I don't want to slow this project down too much because uh, I know there's a lot of people who do enjoy this uh, project I've had a lot of positive feedback which I do thank you guys for and I don't want to obviously let people down so um, I do want to you know keep this going at a steady pace because quite recently it's you know slowed down quite a bit so um, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to be opening up a Patreon page. Now, you don't have to donate. You guys watching this video is basically donation. I have obviously ads on my videos. So if you are watching this video, you already are contributing to this project. So uh, I don't encourage you to donate if you don't have any extra money. But this is for the people who uh, may have a little bit of money to spare or they are very generous in giving to people. Uh, that can obviously work for them. Uh, I don't want to send anyone bankrupt for you know donating to this project if they can't afford it. Uh, and if you are donating, I'm only I'm only asking for a couple of dollars. And I think I think it's on a monthly basis, which I don't really agree with. But you can pull out at any time. And uh, the benefits to Patreon, if you don't know, is you get uh, released early content. So uh, I'm going to be obviously releasing a lot more updates in the future. And uh, hopefully uh, there'll be enough content on there to make it worthwhile uh, donating to me so you can kind of uh, see the benefits of the money that you're putting in kind of thing. So uh, that's that. The Patreon's definitely coming up. And uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll just shut it down and uh, I'll just have to find other ways of uh, putting money into this project. But uh, there's not too much else to this video. Uh, I'm not trying to you know beg people for money or anything this is only a thing um, to do if you are comfortable with it I'm not trying to force anyone I can't stress that enough but uh, if you do uh, enjoy this project just please smash the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already uh, there's definitely more videos to come and uh, yeah I just hope you guys enjoy this video please give this video a like and uh, that is pretty much it, and I uh, thank you guys for watching.